Hello. <laughs> okay, so you can still turn his head. It's got a lot of animation as well. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the very awesome Besiege. Today, as you probably expected, we're going to be checking out some more awesome and unique Besiege creations and just having some simple fun with them. Now, starting off with, I bet you can't guess what this thing does. It's called the Dragon Twirl, and it is basically a weaponized tornado. So yes, we have this flying balloon here, and at the bottom is a top of death, basically, as you can clearly see, and, uh... Yeah, basically we drive this thing into things and it hopefully destroys them. So, uh, let's try and do that right now. Okay, so it has actually got quite good controls. You can rotate this thing. It does hover pretty much perfectly and you can just drive it wherever you want. Uh, you can go up or down as high as you want. And of course, the big question is, how good is the destruction on this thing? And can it withstand force as well? It doesn't feel like this thing will be that sturdy, but we'll have to test it with uh, going through some stone and whatnot. So we're going to try that right now. Going in for the hit, and I totally missed. We're actually dropping a little bit too low. Sorry about the cemetery. Oh, God. Okay, let's lift this thing. All right, I really, I really like how this thing moves. I don't know how it works, but basically, oh yeah, okay, so the front, it just has these fans here, and then obviously it's going to pull the thing forward, and it looks like it can perfectly hover with these uh, propellers down here. Uh, so really simple design, but really, really cool as well. You can also strafe with it, as you can see, obviously, and uh, yeah, not very hard to use at all. All right, that's looking pretty good like that, and oh, oh, see, the problem is the weight of it does put it off center a little bit. There we go, though. It brought me down. Oh, it actually destroyed myself. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I can't seem to stop, but okay. We destroyed it anyways. Can I get this under control once again? I think I popped a few of the balloons. Yeah, it's definitely leaning sideways, and we're going down once again. Okay, let's see how sturdy this thing is. I think if it can take down a whole castle and not break itself, it should be pretty good. All right, clearly we're right on the floor, so that's good because we just killed a bunch of people. Oh, wow, this feels actually really good. This is this is a weird way to destroy something. I've never controlled a tornado before, but yeah, this is this is kind of how I assumed it would be. And yeah, no problem at all. This thing is not being destroyed. The only thing that would probably you know damage this is some sort of explosive, which we do not have here. Uh, but it does a great job at destroying things without breaking itself as well, which is the important part. And there goes the whole castle. And this one's for all you bipedal fans, or I guess you could say Star Wars fans as well. We have the B1 Battle Droid, of course. Gotta say, it looks fantastic. Let's see how the animation is. Uh, gotta say, I mean, this game is one of the most impressive games for bipedal walkers, and you can clearly see why. Very realistic-looking uh, controls here, and of course, we have a gun, so let's go... Well, first of all, let's do the explosive test, because uh, I see a bomb here, and I want to walk on it. Okay. Well... Dude lost his head, man. That's that. That's rough. Okay, now that's extra rough. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so can't walk on bombs. I didn't expect it could, but I just like blowing things up. So that's that's just to be expected. Anyways, we have this gun here. We can uh, raise our arms up. We can actually aim this thing a little bit. Now there's no cameras. I don't think. Oh oh. Okay. Can I? Oh wait. I never actually thought. Can we walk backwards? Ooh, impressive. Usually you kind of just float backwards because uh, people don't know how to animate the the walking backwards. That was actually back steps. That was, that was really impressive. This is a stick up, suckers. I have no idea how to aim this thing. Oh my god, clearly I do. Okay, two for one. Yes, please. You're coming for me. No, you're not. Okay, yes, you are. I love that there's still giant cannonballs. Yeah, there we go, though. It's actually not that bad to aim. Obviously, it'd be nice to have an aiming reticle of some sort, but uh, clearly I'm not having too hard of a time trying to aim this thing, which is uh, surprising. Usually bipedal walkers are the worst aimers. Oh, back up. That's right. Get out of here, sucker. And we killed... Oh, actually, there's two more over there. We must kill them all. And... Oh, sorry about your house. I'm still trying to kill you. Okay, so there is some sway after the recoil, making shooting multiple shots extremely hard to do. Still, though, like, the uh, actual aiming of this really isn't that bad. Okay, these... We're gonna have to get a little bit closer. Aiming isn't bad, but it's definitely not good either. It's nothing like a tank or something like that. Ooh, oh, oh, a little bit high. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm having, I'm having much more problems trying to aim this thing now. Get out of here. Oh, how did I miss you? No! You can't! 
You're gonna kill me! Oh, you're, I'm too tall. I'm too tall. Okay, back up. Nope, my legs are broken. They have broken my legs. You assholes! I will kill you! Like a top. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I can't move, but I can still shoot. There we go. Finally got him. Gotta get this other guy, though. Oh, you're so lucky. There. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's totally broken, but he's beautiful. He's like a ballerina right now. A ballerina of death. Hello? <laughs> okay, so you can still turn his head. It's got a lot of animation as well. We have the tilt neck function, so we can actually... Oh, God. Oh, what am I doing? What? Oh, don't don't break the head. Oh, God. Is this, is, this, is this like a transformer now? Can we still turn the head around? Oh, God. This is... Okay, this is this is what they should have looked like. I, I, th I think that looks better, honestly. Hell, you can even bend the fingers a little bit, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, pretty impressive little bipedal walker, that's for sure. And everybody likes a VTOL. This one looks fantastic, and I love that it's actually very basic, so if you have a lower-end PC, you're not going to lag like crazy. We're actually playing at 100%, which is rare. Uh, with something of this size. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can actually take this thing off. Now, I haven't really tested it out too much at all. I'm just going to figure out the controls real quick. Uh, we have no room to lift off, so we really do need the, the tilt rotor, rotor controls right now. And we are going to try that. Okay, okay, okay. And tilt them. Oh, God, we're going down! Okay, I should have tried a little bit more. <laughs> Why didn't I get any lift there? I wonder if we gotta, like, overpower the engines or something. Okay, so there's multiple control methods for us. I'm gonna try a different version because clearly that version didn't really like me, so... Oh my god. Oh, I almost hit it again. We got it, though! Oh god, this is actually a little bit hard to fly, but still really fast and really cool. There's nothing cooler than taking off a VTOL. Let's see if we can actually do some maneuvers here. It is lagging a little bit now, so... Oh, oh wrong button. Oh, I was gonna slow it down. Okay, let's not screw this up yet. There we go. Speed it up. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes in Besiege, you got to do 10 things at once. It's always fun. All right. I'm not sure if I've ever been able to land a VTOL in VTOL form. Obviously, I think we could probably land it in plane form. That's too easy, though. Let's see if we can actually land a VTOL here. So we're going to go to the open over here. Uh, again, we're going to have to put down the landing gear. Too many damn buttons. Too many damn buttons. And now we are going to try and lift these things. Hopefully hover in the air. Oh, this is weird. This is very hard to control. Okay, I've actually stabilized. This is more than I've ever done. Now, I think this is how we lower it. Yes, please tell me I can land a VTOL today. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Maybe lift up the speed a bit. I really think we're about to land. It's very hard to tell how high we are. Oh, yes! Okay, drop it down. Drop it down. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, don't break the gear. Can I not break anything and land this? Oh my god, I did it! I didn't even break the, the weak landing gears! Hell yeah, dude, this thing's amazing. I have finally landed a VTOL in VTOL form. That is amazing, and this thing is very well designed. Very easy to control after you get used to it. Uh, and I like that there's multiple choices for controls as well. Uh, so if you're not a fan of one, you can try another, like I did, and it clearly worked out. I'm sure we're all big fans of things that do lots of destruction, and this is going to be amazing, I think. This is called the 230U Deflector in Placement. It's designed to launch a modified version of a 100cm Beehive projectile fired from Empire Warship batteries. The payload canister is fitted to a rocket booster pack, so uh, basically it's a giant warship canister in a cannon, basically, and I am so excited for that because, well, this thing also has a really impressive scope, so you can actually aim this thing up. Uh, we're obviously going to be able to get some decent range on this now. I don't know where we should really aim. This is probably a decent distance. We'll go for the middle shot right now, see how good it is, uh, and let's fire it up right now. Oh my god, look at that projectile! <laughs> oh, dude, that might be the best explosion ever. Obviously, we need to get some close shots of that. The, the castle's gone. The whole freaking castle got destroyed in one shot. Do I have more than one? No, it's just one shot. One big canister and that's it. But you saw the damage output of that. Let's try that again. We're gonna aim this thing up. What a great aiming reticle too. That worked perfectly. And uh, very easy to use. Aims quick, which is always nice because usually these things are quite slow. And this is all projectile basically right here. So we're gonna slow this down a little bit and appreciate 
the sheer scale of this beast. Look at this thing. It's just a big box, but there's obviously lots of explosives in there. It looks like we didn't get as good of a trajectory that time. Oops. I think I accidentally hit the manual detonation button. No, I didn't actually, so I don't know why it detonated. Um, still really cool. <laughs> and it actually destroyed the castle anyway, so clearly it's got a crazy amount of shrapnel. So yeah, let's try the manual detonation. This time we'll obviously do it a little closer though, so I'm gonna try and go maybe over the top and then detonate it, because that looks really cool to me. All right, once again, hopefully this time it doesn't randomly implode, but we're going to shoot it. And when we get to the castle itself, it doesn't look like the trajectory is going to make it there. I don't I wonder if slow motion plays with the physics of this. Because our first shot... What the heck? I didn't press anything again. So I don't know if it's the slow motion or what it is. But it's randomly detonating now. Mind you, I'm not mad about it because it's still... From that far away, it destroys things, which is amazing to me. Uh, but let's try this full speed, I guess. Or close to and see if we can actually get it closer okay and there we go and once again are we hitting the wall because the first time we, if, if, if that's the case i don't think the wall's that close to it though um it's actually yeah it's way back there so there's no way that's what's happening i'm so confused right now let's just try a random shot and see yeah it's it seems like when i when i target the actual projectile itself it randomly implodes. Let's let's test that. So we'll just eyeball this and see what happens. We're gonna go for a shot here, and what the heck? Okay, so no, it does ra it does explode relatively quickly. It looks like so it's not made for long di distance shots like I thought it was. But why did the first one work so well? That's what I'm confused about. Maybe it actually wasn't that close to the castle, and it just looked like it was because uh, of the sheer damage output. I, I think that might be the case there. So let's get nice and close. And this time, we'll appreciate it in, in slow motion. And I, once again, I want to try and detonate it right above this thing. So we'll do something like that. Still, I got to say, this is one of the coolest projectiles I've seen personally. So we're going to detonate it. Oh, it's going to do it anyways. Yeah, that, unfortunately, it doesn't last long at all. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's how it's supposed to work. Still, I mean, the damage output is absolutely crazy. Okay, and I thought we'd end off with, uh, well, clearly a very weaponized mech, and, uh, man, is this guy ever weaponized? I didn't expect to see that many barrels on it, uh, but yeah, very big mech. Looks like the animation is very decent as well. It does kind of float around, as you can see, which is kind of expected with some of these bigger mechs. Uh, but let's check out some of this firepower here, because that's where this thing is going to truly shine, obviously. As you can see on the top, we got crap loads of rockets. Going to let those suckers fly. That was a bad shot. Let's try that again. That's looking a little better. There we go. Sorry about that, bud. No, I'm not. What am I saying? All right, so we got... Frontal rockets, as you could clearly see here. Uh, we can also aim these weapons, by the way. You can aim them separately, which is nice. We got the minigun in the front uh, that you can aim. And then you can aim all the rest of the weapons, I believe. Yeah, all the turrets and then the side rockets as well that shoot upwards in an arc. Let's actually shoot those things off. Five and six. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how far these things are going to go. It looks like they go about the same distance, maybe a little bit further. No, nope, actually about the same distance. So same as the other rockets, they just have an arc if you want to shoot over things, for example. And then we have the main cannons. I'm curious to see how the recoil will affect these. Wow, they, these are some really high-powered cannons. And look at, look at my feet. I'm actually being pushed back due to the recoil of this. Uh, still, I mean, if you shoot them one at a time, it won't be too bad. Uh, I did not put on infinite ammo, so we're only going to be able to experience the minigun for a second here. But it is an actual minigun. And uh, that is really impressive as well. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some really impressive Besiege creations. We checked out a lot of weapons today, which is always nice. There's always lots of weapons in Besiege. Uh, but we had some really impressive ones today. So as always, if you do want to download anything that you saw in this episode, links will be in the description of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.